Hi to everyone, John here, and today we're taking a look at the Rocky Mountains monorail on our 2020 Ford Escape. Now, if you're trying to get you and a friend out to the trails and you need something that will hold your bikes by the tire, this is gonna be a great choice. Now let's take a closer look. Now this is gonna have a 60 pound weight capacity, which is going to be able to hold most of your heavier mountain bikes and your e-bikes, along with having a five inch wheel width uh, maximum. That's gonna make it where you can have your fat tire bikes on here, which basically means that a majority of the bikes that you may take, you're gonna be able to use. Along with having it being held by the wheel, this makes it where you can have odd shaped frame and carbon frame bikes. It's very easy to take this on and off, but first I'm gonna show you how to tilt this away. And in my personal opinion, this is one of the best tilts away features that I've ever seen. Very easy to pull very quickly, tilts it away. And it tilts a good amount. Uh, even though we have very long handles, it's still easy for the back of our escape to come down and sorry, come up and then giving us the ability to grab our helmets, any drinks or anything else we may need for our ride. Okay, now we're gonna show taking off the bike. It is very simple. All you have to do is undo the strap and then hold onto your bike while you press in this button. And the hook that holds the tire is very easy to work with, making it a great choice if you just wanna get your bike off very quickly. Now the cradle for the back wheel is going to move back and forth depending on the size of bike you have. And the front is actually going to come down, keeping it out of the way and making it where you can put the hook down and it's gonna be a lot more streamlined once you have it like that. I do recommend putting the hook on the other side of this cradle just to keep it nice and safe. Now let's get some measurements and see how far this comes off the back of your vehicle. It's going to be 26 inches from the back of your escape to the back of your bike rack. And that isn't too bad. That's a, not too bad of a way for it to come out. It's also going to have a little bit of a drop. Let's see here. You're gonna have about 19 inches. So the shank rise is still gonna be enough that you don't have to worry about any kind of drop whenever you're going up a steep hill. It should be very easy for you. Another great way to get a little bit more space out of say your parking or you're at the campsite and you wanna make sure that you're using the most space to your ability is to just fold it up. It's gonna take half a second and that's gonna cut down the space by a good amount to about 13 inches. So that's really good. It's not gonna come any closer there's still a lot of space. I think the closest space is going to be about three inches, but as you can see, I can move my hands through. It's not that much of a worry, and it's not gonna get any closer. This is definitely one of the more stable bikes in this position that I've known. Sorry, stable bike racks. And it isn't something that I would really worry about. Now it is going to block your backup camera and a little bit of your license plate. So just keep that in mind whenever you're going down the road. The shank is going to be for two inch hitches and it's gonna have an anti rattle bolt and lock. As you can see right here, it's very easy to pop that off and you're gonna have a secondary one right here for any kind of bike lock system that you may already have. And it's going to hold this bike in there very well and you're not gonna to have to worry about any shaker play. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side to side action which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Now lastly, we're going over some full speed bumps and we can see here the up and down action and this will just be like driving in and out of a parking lot, garage or driveway. If you're looking for a wheel mounted platform style bike rack, this is gonna be a great option. I personally think it's one of the best choices you can go with, but if you're wanting something with a little bit more bells and whistles and a little bit more premiere, I would definitely check out the Kuat NV 2.0 bike rack. It's gonna have just a couple extra bells and whistles, including a place to put your bike if you need to make any last minute adjustments, but overall it's gonna be a great choice. 
And that was a look at our Rocky Mount monorail two bike on our 2020 Ford Escape. Hope this helped.